Diablo Immortal is about to change forever. Uh-oh. The new $110,000 grind. Breaking down all of the normal gems. The numbers are actually insane. You're going to want to watch all of this one because by the end of it, you're not going to believe all the steps I've walked you through. It's, it'll probably blow your mind if you've never actually taken a look at some of these numbers. With that being let's... said, let's get going with it. There's a significant change coming to Diablo more though that will shift the power in this game. I'm going to fully oh, explain really? it, including the math breakdown for you in this video. Okay. So by the end of the video, you're going to know everything you need to know for this upcoming change. Normal gyms are about to shift how powerful they are. In the most uh -huh. recent patch update, they stated on the 22nd, they're going to be adjusting normal gyms. These gyms will receive an additional attribute, which modifies the base stats of the item they're socketed into this is similar to the resonance how resonance actually modifies the equipment base stat as well right. the normal gems will only be modifying the set items they're socketed into as legendary items can only have legendary gem sockets not normal sockets because of the variability in the number of gems that both gloves belts boots and necklaces can have this means three gem spots are now even more of a priority than they were before because there is a total of 14 normal gym sockets you can have at a max, and because the maximum gym rank at 10 costs 19,683, this would give you a grand total of 275,562 normal gyms which you need to acquire in order- What? That's how many normal gyms you need? Over a quarter of a million. To max out your character with the new system. Oh my now, god. If we safely assume that you can get each normal gym for only 300 platinum each. On uh -huh. my server, they're actually maximum price for everything. But let's just assume that yeah, you sure. could infinitely buy the supply of these at 300 platinum okay. at a cheaper price. This would give you a total of 82 million platinum. So you only need 82 million platinum to buy everything you need. It if you buy eternal orbs in uh, the amounts of $200 each, it's the uh -huh. cheapest amount possible, meaning you can get 7,500 eternal orbs per $100. Yes. So let's figure out how much actual money this would cost. Okay. Now, 10 so platinum is one eternal orb. So if we divide this by 10, we'll get the cost in eternal mm -hmm. orbs. Then we'll divide it by 7,500. Then we'll get the cost in how many $100. So that's 7,500. By the way, what he did is it, you know, again, like you guys understand what he just did, right? Do I have to explain this? Yes, he did. Oh, okay. All right. So, so just, just, we can't math. All right. So basically platinum, every one eternal orb gives you 10 platinum. Okay. So it's one to 10. So then you could divide that 82, basically take a zero off of it. Right. Cause then it would be 8.2 because it's one to 10. If you're trying to get eternal orbs. Then, after you do that, you take 7,500, which is the most, that is the etern the amount of eternal orbs you get for $100, which is the highest return on investment. The investment. Uh, highest return on money spent. So that means for every $100, you would get 7,500 eternal orbs. And because you need 8.2 million eternal orbs, because that's what would give you 82 million platinum, that's what he's doing. You guys get it? We would actually need. Now we're going to times this by 100 in order to get the uh -huh. dollar amount. And we have 110. Okay. So what he just did is he divided again the 82, sorry, 8.2 million by 7.5. And that was, so how many times do you need to buy a hundred dollars worth of eternal orbs? in order to buy every single gem at this price that is even lower than what it actually is. You would need to buy Eternal Orbs for $100 1,102 times. So that is over 1,000, 1,100 times you are swiping the credit card for $100 of Eternal Orbs. We need... Now we're going to times this by 100 in order to get the dollar amount. And we have $110,224 in order to max out the normal gyms. I love how he just can't even say it without laughing. Now, this is just all assuming napkin. I mean, not really napkin math. We're using a calculator, yeah. but just some philosophy behind how much it would cost if you could. Well, well also, like, you've got to keep in mind, uh, probably the, the, the ceiling for gyms is probably 500 to 600. So, like, really, you're talking about probably 140 to 150,000.
because like he was using a lower price and then also because these items are going to be in higher value that will also drive up the price because you know like more demand same value same same supply higher price that's the way it goes so yeah it's going to be even more than that like 110,000 is like that's very very low just infinitely purchase these gems obviously people aren't going to spend $110,000 in normal gems so how do we get them normally for free mm -hmm. now there's such a thing as a bound and an unbound gem for instance well, you, you if you get them normally for free it will take you 733 years six months five days and three hours to farm half of them and so this one has the market icon on it and the one next to it does not if it has the market icon it is an unbound gem meaning it is tradable mm -hmm. and sellable if it does not it is a bound gem Currently in the game, you can farm 12 unbound gems plus six bound gems per day. You can get the okay. unbound gems by doing things like four player party grouping or running dungeons, fairly simple. And you can get the, uh, excuse me, the bound gems through six of them through a hidden lair every day. So you get a cap currently of 18 that are farmable before we talk about things like vendors. Okay. The occasional event will throw some normal gems out. Right. And of course, the battle pass has some, and you can purchase Ooh. some directly from the shop. Ooh. And of course, you can Ooh. buy 10 of them weekly, Ooh. basically increasing the amount of normal gems you're getting by a few on average oh, per wow. day. Oh, wow. Okay. It's fairly safe to add an average of two more on per day for sure. things like the events, the free battle yeah, pass. Yeah, we're going to average it out. Hilt's trader, etc. So let's say you can get an average of 20 gems per day mm -hmm. at a maximum if you're farming every day now it has been 253 days since the launch of the game so let's say you've realistically been farming you free you 5, could get 5060 normal gems approximately again it's napkin mm -hmm. math but decently accurate you can have farmed about 5000 normal gems by now free yes that's assuming playing in max every single day all of the things yes. all of the events all of the purchasing all the never time. missing a day that's and right. playing since launch casual we have player. yet to address the market and it, let's just assume that no matter what you could always get the gym you wanted for only 300 platinum even though they're then, always yeah, sold again, out this on is my server and they go for 400 let's just say you could always buy the so gyms. again like keep in mind a 300 to 400 differential whenever you have 110,000 divide 110,000 by three that's like what about uh whew, like 35 33 yeah, 33,000. So then you add 33,000 on top of 110,000. That's 143,000. That's a lot of fucking money. Oh, it's actually more than that. Excuse me. Because 33 would have been for 100. It's 110. So it'd be 36 or 30, 37, 38. The person so be I'm most acutely aware 000. of that has been free to play that said they have farmed platinum would be Apollyon Gaming. I believe he was quoted mm -hmm. to have farmed 3.5 million, but don't put me to the core law that I just think that's So he's farmed, he's so this guy is, the, he's he's farmed the most platinum and he's farmed 3.5 million. So then if platinum to Eternal Orbs is the same, so you would divide that by 10, so that would only be uh, 33, uh, 350,000. So he basically farmed like maybe like a few thousand dollars worth of platinum by playing all day every single day. Said uh, that's what the day the miner was saying. So 3.5 million platinum, let's mm -hmm. say you have farmed since launch. Now let's divide that by 300. Let's say not only have you played since launch, but you've put every single piece of platinum you've ever got only into normal oh, yeah. gems, not legendary gems, not expanding your stash tab voice. storage, yeah. nothing else. You only put it in there. That would give you another We're 11. Need a lot of those to be able to afford this. 1,666 gems. If we add on the 5,060 that you could have grinded free to play as well, we still only have a rank 9 gem. If we take the total amount of gems needed to have maxed out one gem, again, there's 14 gem spots, but we're just talking about one here. Rem Wait, so if he played every single day, all day, without missing a single day, with maximizing the events, he would almost be able to max out one gem out of 14 gems? Move that by the amount that it would have been physically possible and even gift him one extra just so we don't have any roundings. We can see we're still short 2,900, <laughs> 2,956 normal who have maxed out one of the spots. However, let's do that math again. So we still need 2,956. All right, no problem. Uh huh. Now let's take the normal amount of gems that you need in total to max out your character and remove it by the total amount of gems that would have been possible to have free to play at the moment and we are looking at still need another 250,000 gems there's another oh my god 
Oh my God. So uh, let me let me get this straight. So you've got uh, 275,000. Let, let's do, let, let's actually do some math here. So he said 253 days, right? So you take 275, uh, let's see here, 275. Uh, oh, fuck. Let me see. How, how can I actually do this? Because I want to see how long it would take to actually farm every single one of these. So divided by, we're just going to do 16,727. Okay. And then you multiply this, so because obviously this is the amount of times that it would be divisible for. So then you use this number right here as a metric for each instance of 253 days. So then we're going to multiply this by 250 and uh, 253. So this is 253. So you would need to spend f a little bit more than 4,000 days playing the game. And so let's go ahead and divide that by years. Uh, we'll go ahead and divide that by 365. And so we're talking 11. Okay, so I, I quoted you guys at 700 years. Turns out you're going to get off light. It's only going to be 11.4 years to farm, and you'll get all the gems that you need. What if they add more? You know, play at the moment, and we are looking at still need another 250,000 gems. Mm -hmm. There's another problem that we aren't really even addressing, which is the market flow, meaning there are more wells purchasing up these gems quicker than there are free to play people basically exporting these gems onto the market. This beca is because the free to play people need the gems also. It's not like the those free are the, the s slaves, by the way. Refer to them by their true name, not free to play slaves to play people who are playing the game just don't want to progress in the game they also want the power so only some of them are selling these gems mm -hmm. for this That's reason right. it makes it even harder to actually get your hands on them even if you wanted to spend money so this is also further ignoring the fact that when the free to play do sell the gems it's to be able to buy the other part of the game that is pay to win the legendary gems they exactly. have to sacrifice one of their arms to buff the other is essentially That's what's right. happening as free to play well that was kind of fine and selling dandy, a kidney but if you need both like equally as much it's it's going to create a larger gap in my own personal opinion absolutely you want to see some really depressing math oh, here's the amount it. of total gem or days i should say that it would take you to farm the amount of gems you need. 13,778 days, also known as 37 years, just about 40 oh, years. Oh, did he do the math so differently I than me? Oh, maybe he might have. I'm not sure. He divided it by 20. That's for Max. Okay, you did it wrong. Maybe I did. He understands the game better than me, so I'll assume that he was right. 37 years. Obviously, there's not enough gems. However, I think that's about to change because this is a very obvious math problem, and I know they're aware of that, especially if they're trying to start some kind of economy. This also yeah. doesn't really address the problem of like 15% tax is being taken when you buy and sell stuff in the market, so we're losing a little bit of value, etc. None of that additional math is in it. I'm looking at this from the most like gracious way I can. I even calculated some of the gems at 300 platinum each. So if anything, the numbers are going to be worse and we need more normal gems in the game. However, oh that God. does seem to be what's about He's to happen. He's got to sell that cat for the gems. Happen. And not just because it states it right here, where they're going to modify hidden layers to provide players with additional ways to obtain tradable mm -hmm. gems. There's actually some more information as well. Now, I'm not going to go into full like detail because it's pretty rough information at the moment but basically i was talking to the data miner and what he's saying is that the fishing mini game uh -huh. seems to have a way to reward players with normal gems and currently in in the game i don't really know what the point of fishing would be if it's not to acquire resources that we need i'm talking set items i'm talking normal gems hopefully things like legendary crests etc thank god You're fishing for some goodies i could see them adding like you get three four five additional normal gems uh -huh. per day if you go and max out your fishing that makes sense but yep. i want to take you on a darker path and show you how much Ooh. none of that actually matters okay remember how many gems you can get free to play per day 20 gems 20. let's say is with the map when we mathed out right okay let's say the blizzard goes absolutely crazy and decides we're going to 10 times the amount of normal gems you get per day you can now farm okay. two 
hundred normal gyms and everyone is singing their that means it would only take you three years right 3.7 years phrases about how great of a change yeah. this is to max out one normal gym that would be still 98 days that's pretty AKA good three months to max out one gym yeah to complete this set that would be 1377 days 7, to right? complete all of the gyms you need i mean this math seems yeah. obvious but uh also known as just about four years, 3.78 years there, basically. So even if Blizzard right yeah, now fine. 10 times how many normal gyms you could get as free to play in the game, it would still take you four years to max. Mm -hmm. But wait, that's There's... not all of it. There's what? actually still another problem. You guys remember these things? No. The Echoing Crystal? You actually need these when you're upgrading your normal gyms. Oh. For instance, if I wanted to go from rank seven to rank eight, it would cost me 15 of these. Don't forget, though, you need the duplicates of the other ones in order for it to work. So going from 8 to 9 is So it's, a, it's, it's like a pyramid, right? But you need three of them, so I would have had to done this three times in uh -huh. order to get three more rank 8s. It, it's exponential in its cost. Right. Just to give you the number, it's 531. You need 531 Echoing Crystals okay. times 500 in order to max out one gym. That's 265,000 Platinum to max out one gym times 14 for the 14. That's really not that much Platinum. I mean, really, like, this is probably only a few thousand dollars. Gyms you're this gonna is need. pretty minimal. That's 3.7 yeah, million Yeah, it's not platinum. even that much. Other, otherwise known as more than all of the Platinum... The most known free to play guy has farm, which was the 3.5 million that yes. I was able to find anyway. It's still 200K more. That's that's over seven months of platinum farming in order to just pay seven months farming probably every day diligently for hours and hours and hours. And he just gets leapfrogged over by a um, an oil prince that's just bored on a Tuesday only for the echoing crystals yep. before we even talk about the gems you need so for me the current system has a few key failures first and foremost the amount of gems you need 275,000 plus seems to me like one thing an infinite goal post that is ever moving that is impossible to achieve i don't yeah. think they actually expect anyone to max out all the normal gems instead i think they absolutely do they, they put these uh these goals out there in video games in order to entice people that are OCD and you know compulsive that also have a bunch of money yeah there are people that are out there that will spend this much money what they do is make it an impossible grind so people just have progression they can always make even if that progression is so low right this does two things it makes it easy for the game to always have something to do i suppose but unfortunately it also gives the carrot on stick appeal where you chasing the carrot for a bit and then you're like i can never grab this damn carrot and you're going to get annoyed and sick of it of course i also think adding more importance to normal gyms that we're doing on the 22nd even if we're addressing the problem of normal gems, I've done the math in this video, even if Blizzard decides on the 22nd to add 10 times the normal gem income, which I would put money on it, they're not going to do. Yeah. It still would take basically four years in order to farm enough of the gems. I don't... Well, I sure hope they don't make another rank. I mean, imagine if they went up to rank 11 or rank 12 before that four years were over. I mean, that would be I think awful. We're going to play four years in order to rank max 20. Out the normal gems. This also doesn't include the fact that people need normal gems as free to play in order to sell them to be able to buy the legendary gems right. because the legendary gems are not really farmable. As it stands currently in the game, it would take you 37.7 years to be able to farm enough normal gems to level with them as free to play. That does not even include the platinum required with the e Echo Christos. So, for my own personal opinion, we need more ways to get normal gems quicker and most importantly for free. Otherwise, That's the right. new system will be dead on arrival as normal gems are currently already a problem in the game. Wow. People play this? Yes. There are people who are like they take pride in being able to beat whales in video games because it's some sort of like inferiority complex where they're like, oh, I can still compete against these guys. They're still not as good as me. I can outwork them. And like they're working so hard playing 10 hours a day. And then some, you know, like fucking Wall Street stock trader plays the game. And he's like, oh, I lost this guy. Well, that's weird. Okay, I'll just have to buy another one. 
Okay, all right, now my gear's better. Okay, I beat him now. All right, cool. You know, anyway, uh, so yeah, let's go out for drinks. And that's it, right? And, and like, then this guy's like, oh my god, he fucking beat me. God fucking damn it. Shit, okay, I've got to farm. All right, let me think. So I'm going to do it for 10 hours, 7 days a week, and I'll only have to do this for 33 hours, and then I can finally get up to this level, and I can beat that loser again and show him that I'm the real winner and I'm the best. That's what, that's what it is. I cannot imagine living a life like that. 37 years later. Don't forget it's seasonal. Yep, that's right. It's 37, yeah, 37 years later, it's seasonal. They need to not, they need to let normal gems drop at higher ranks. That's actually true. That would help out a lot. Uh, with the absolute scarcity of set items, drops, and acquisition in general, we're now not only looking at triple stat of the exact same set that we need, probably the best modifiers, but we also need to roll it with max sockets. Wow, what a surprise. Who could have ever expected this? Man, Diablo Immortal. It is a video game. Or so they say. There's a the video right there. This is fucking amazing. I'm going to give it a like. Holy fuck. A trip.